Been a few hours, but it felt like days Only been days, but it felt like months Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have been here before, if you are new, I hope you like what you see and you click on the subscribe button and join this beautiful family. So my last video, I had a few comments talk about my sense of discipline and there was somebody um, in the comment section as well that said they would like to know how I am able to keep the discipline that I'm showcasing on my channel. And I thought, you know what? Let's record a video because it's something that I'm passionate about. It's something I do like talking about. And what better way than to do a get unready with me while we talk discipline and if it's worth it, you know, is it really worth it? So let's go. So one thing I will tell you about discipline that I have discovered for myself is that discipline is a learned behavior. We are not born with self-discipline. I did not just come up and be disciplined in like all the areas of my life that I have discipline in. I had to literally work at it so that I was able to master it. And I believe I'm not doing a bad job, you know. I do know that it requires like daily practice and repetition. It must become a habitual thing that you do every day. But also the effort and focus that self-discipline requires can be draining. So let's get that out there. It's not easy. You have to work at it. So I usually uh, like to go back to scripture and find out what the word says about a particular topic that I may be interested in. So the verse that I found is in Proverbs 25 verse 28 and it says, A man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls like how clearer can the bible get on this so like this verse for me emphasizes the importance of self-discipline as a safeguard against potential harm and just vulnerability you know so let me make an example exercising uh four to five times in a week for me is helping build a wall around my health and you know just my my heart making sure that it's healthy which in turn you know is is safeguarding me against potential harm and vulnerability like uh, it's, it's potentially saving me from getting sick unnecessarily just because i'm not moving my body let's go to an example of reading the word and praying and you know dedicating time to god what is it doing it's safeguarding my spirit it's safeguarding you know my faith and helping me build a relationship with god so that's how i look at it and that's how i'm able to continue being disciplined Someone will ask how how do they start uh, with self discipline? I would say start by identifying the things that make you procrastinate first. Before you want to be disciplined, know the things that are holding you back from being disciplined. And then I would say after you've done that, now the tasks that you want to do, break them down, break them down into smaller steps. Set like realistic goals, and you know because. I'll just I'll make an example just now but once you have set a big task a big goal something big you know in front of you like I want to start waking up at 5 a.m if you're a person who usually wakes up at 8 a.m it's a big task break it down start smaller start by waking up at 6 or at 7 and then break it down from from 7 to 6 and then you know to to 5 set realistic goals for yourself you know what you're capable of so don't don't overwhelm yourself you know and then once you've achieved the little tasks that you've broken down reward yourself for it you know for, for the little progress that you've made reward yourself because self discipline is really not about being perfect it's, it's about making consistent effort and gradually, gradually building momentum. So I have a few ways that I can share with you of how I have built self-discipline and I'll just break them down for you so that maybe we, you know, are on the same page by the end of this video. So I would say number one, write out your goals. The Bible encourages us to write down things that we want to achieve in our lives. So what does writing out your goals have to do with achieving your goals? 
it helps you identify the reason why i always say know your why know what is the motivating factor for the thing that you want to achieve so you write it down because when it is written down as you're writing it down you are meditating on it you are getting the reason why you want to do this thing right and the many other reasons that will back that up and then once you have written it down it's it's in your mind it automatically is in, engraved in your mind so it's hard to forget it you know it's hard to forget a goal that you've set and you've written down you may choose to ignore it or for, forget it in inverted commas but at least you know it's written down so whatever you do at some point it'll come back to you it'll come back to your mind you'll go back to it and you will read this is what i wanted to do and this is why so it'll always remind you of what you wanted to do and the reason to do it and maybe start giving you motivation to pick it up again if you had dropped it and then i would say practice prioritizing so what i do daily is is to start doing the hardest things first like literally get them out of the way so that should my energy go down then I know the things that really matter, the things that I deem important to me are already done. So what do I mean by prioritizing? Like for me, I would say waking up early, waking up at 5 a.m. literally is a hard thing. I have been doing it for many years, but it's not always an easy thing to do, but I do it, you know, I get it out of the way, do it first, do it first you know and get it out of the way because what does it do for me it has a ripple effect on the rest of my day once i've woken up early everything else that follows after that smooth sailing honey praying i mean a person would say praying is easy it, it's not easy you know it's not you have to prioritize it you make you have to make it a priority in your life it's not an automatic thing the devil may lie you know and, and play on, on us and make us think that ah praying is not important I can pray while I'm cooking, I can pray while I'm working out, I can pray while, but that is not how it is. You have to set time, you have to prioritize it. And uh, because once you put it uh, to the side and concentrate on other things, chances of you coming back after you've done all the fluff in your day, coming back to pray again are very slim. So just do it first thing in the morning while you are fresh also, while your energy is still up and you're fresh and you know, you get it out the way exercising the same for me i do it in the morning because once i'm done doing everything that i want to do by the time i want to exercise guys it's already too late my body's already telling me oh my mind is already telling me you've done so much already in the day let's postpone it to tomorrow and the next one would be knowing your weakness there is nothing as powerful in, as knowing what your weak points are as a person so being self-aware that thing is so powerful in a person's life so acknowledge where your struggles are like this is the first step to changing your habits be proactive you know no this is what holds me back in life so if you know that waking up early is a struggle because you, when are you sleep too late and then when it's time to wake up at five you can't change the time that you sleep sleep earlier so that by the time you have to wake up at five you're well rested your body has had enough hours to rest and recoup so you know sleep a little early if you know that your weakness is chocolate for instance don't keep chocolate in the house buy chocolate as and when you feel like you know, you know when you feel like i'm about to die from this craving of chocolate then you go and buy chocolate don't keep it because you're setting yourself up for failure know your weakness and prevent falling for your weaknesses i know this may sound a little cliche but it's not i promise you motivation that thing that thing should not be in our dictionaries in our vocabulary because a lot of people have failed doing things because they rely on motivation it should be dedication over motivation every single time you will not always feel motivated to do something even if it's important to you motivation is just not a thing to rely on you'd rather be dedicated and committed to doing something because even when you don't feel like doing it you will still do it you know because sometimes you wake up and you feel like you uh, are uh, like my mind is telling me i should sleep but if you are dedicated i promise you the moment you 
put on that workout gear already your mind has changed into you know okay i'm gonna work out i'm gonna do this the moment you open your bible like things just change because you're dedicated and taking the first steps into you know doing the things that you promised yourself you would do so don't rely on motivation that thing doesn't work don't even like not for a single day be dedicated to your goals to be dedicated and committed to the things that you want to achieve and then i would say get yourself an accountability partner get others to hold you accountable for the goals that you've set if you feel like uh you know i might fall off the wagon here even if you don't feel like it just it's like safeguarding you know your future <laughs> your future laziness or your future uh, demotivation get somebody tell somebody you know this is my goal this is what i want to do i want to wake up at 5 a.m every morning and uh you know i would like you to maybe wake up at five with me or find somebody who's already doing it and be like i'm joining you please keep me accountable like re for, call me if you feel like if you see that i'm not um doing what i said i would do i used to have an accountability partner when i started my wor working out like my fitness journey and she kept me and held me accountable like i love that girl even today i am where i am with my fitness journey because we held each other accountable even with your spirituality your bible reading and all of that stuff it doesn't have to be a person you know physically the nice thing is that we can have people on the internet that we have we make our you know accountability partners someone who displays the kind of behavior that you want to display follow them you know follow them finds a mentor in inverted commas on the internet someone who you know does what you want to do and follow them and do what they're doing until you feel like you got this you can do this all by yourself and then i will say to you change your perspective like be willing to change your perspective our mindset is everything you know everything starts in the mind it determines what we do and how we push forward so it's okay to stumble every now and then it's okay as long as you learn from your mistakes because if your mindset if your perspective is too rigid especially when you're trying to build a habit it's very easy for you to fall off the wagon you know so learn from your mistakes and focus on doing better next time focus on the goal stay whatever happens focus on the goal know why you started something even if something happens and it disturbs you here and there remember to go back and just stay positive positive. and then lastly i would say be mindful of your urges like we all have urges to avoid um you know things that are difficult or uncomfortable like coming out of a comfort zone is a hard thing like avoid things that are going to take you back you know be mindful of those things if uh, you need to set a timer set a timer set an alarm you know that at a specific time this is what i need to be doing 5 a.m to 5 30 this is what i'm doing 6 uh, 5 30 to 6 a.m this is what i'm uh, supposed to be doing because this will make you more aware of procrastination and your instinct to run away from a challenge or a thing that you've set your mind to do so permitting yourself to do nothing but a specific task great and finally, I want to say to you, you deserve to be your best self and live your best life. Whether you want to get promoted, whether you want to lose weight, fixed relationships, self-control is the most significant factor to achieving these things. So go out there, kick butt and commit to your goals.